Hello and welcome to this uh, tutorial. So for this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an Android application that uses Mac. So I've created a sample application over here to showcase to you what we would learn for today. So we have a basic application, then you can click uh, one button to open map. And then this map would uh, display the various location on the map okay, using map marker. So uh, what we need to do is to follow the official Android tutorial by Google. So when you look at the tutorial, uh, you should be able to create uh, this application by uh, following the tutorial. So, for this tutorial, we will refer to the official Android tutorial for Google Map as published by Google. So, let's look at the official documentation. So, this is Map SDK for Android Quick Start. So what you need to do is to set up a cloud console. So I believe most of you have already had a cloud console. Okay, you have to set up your project. And then if you already have the project, you only have to enable the Google Map SDK that follow the step two. Click uh, enable. Okay, just click enable over here. And then just close back the app. Right, your browser tab. Okay, just close back your browser tab. Right, close back your browser tab, and then get an API key. You just just have to go to the credential. Okay, select the project testing only. And then you create an credential over here. Okay, create an API key. Okay. This API key should be kept a uh, secret because uh, because it fell into a public hand. Uh, those uh, users can steal your information and also steal your account uh, billing. Okay, account billings. So we do not want that. We do not want you to incur cost. Right, and then copy uh, the API key. Okay, let's start the Android Studio. Okay, like this. To select empty activity as always, put here a map application. Okay, or any um, name that you desire. Okay, click finish. Okay, first thing first, just go to the manifest. Right, and then uh, you should add the permission over here, but uh, we will do that later. So what you need to do here is to create a button, right? A button over here to open up your map application, okay? Map uh, activity. So as always, uh, create a button. So open map. Okay, you can substitute this with a menu or navigation drawer. Okay, up to you. Create a button or access the map through the use of a menu. Okay, do not create your application that display map outright. Okay, that is not uh, good. Okay, right. Uh, add the padding. Okay, padding left or right. Okay, to the main application, we want it to have a padding. So, it would be much more pleasing to the eyes. Okay, and then don't forget the fit law. Okay, left and right. Okay, just just fill uh, just match parent. All right, just like this. Okay, don't forget to save. Okay, next, uh, create a new activity. So we'll go to the file, and then go to activity gallery. So select uh, Google Map activity. So we can name it as Map activity. And then uh, click right. And next, uh, we might need back the API key. <coughs> so this is the API key. Copy the API key that we have already created. We paste over here. 
Okay, okay. So, how to get to this place? So, you can go to values and then go to Google Map API. Okay, uh, to this. Okay, in debug. So, it means that uh, this is not ready for release. So, if you are on release, you should create another. Okay, another file. Okay, for this, this is only for testing. Right? Okay. Okay, next. Uh, next, what we should do is to connect the button. Right? Okay, to connect the button. So, here you have the button. So, we want to connect it to the map. So, like always, you create the button handler. Okay, button. If you only have button, you can uh, easily set the on click listener to the button. Okay, new on click listener. Okay, like this. And then just create an intent. Okay, new intent. Intent dot okay, please import. So what you need to intent set uh, package or set class. Okay, set class, get application context, a comma. The name of the class, okay. The name of the class is map activity dot class. Right, the name of the class is uh, maps activity dot class. And then start the activity. Intent, right? Then you should be able to test uh, the map. Okay, this is the application, a map application. Click open map, and the map would be displayed. Okay, just like the sample application uh, as shown in the quick start. Okay, right. Okay, what we need to do here is to customize the application. So be ready to customize the application. So you see over here when you click at the map activity, you've learned that uh, you have to set um, the marker, right? The marker uh, through the use of marker option and then the latitude and longitude. So, uh, to make it easier, let's uh, try to modify this application. So, just comment this. And then, comment again. And then, camera update uh, uh, new latitude. Uh, we should be able to create a new let and length over here. Okay, just delete. Okay. To become like this. And then, you can create your own marker. Okay, at the top. Okay, your own marker. Okay, let's try something like this. So let's create a marker. So marker, new, marker option. And then you put here title, okay, the location. So what location that you want to mark? Let's say that Alo Star Restaurant. Ataupun kadang-kadang kita cakap kata cawangan Alo Star. And then, uh, press put over here. And then you put here position. So position you put here just let long. New let long. The uh, GPS coordinate. Okay. And then you put here again snippet. Okay, snippet is the title. Okay. Okay, open during MCO. Okay. 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Right. So you have a marker. So that's easy. Right? That's easy. So you can also put over here. Okay. M map. Okay. Remember that this is M map. Put M map dot add marker. We put a marker. Okay. okay, just as easy. And then what missing here is this, the Sydney. So we try to center the location to Malaysia. So try to center the location to Malaysia. 
we put uh, put here location okay let okay sorry sorry put over here let long okay uh, location or you could put here center center location new let long okay we uh, try to find something that uh, uh, much more center okay centralized okay like this 3.0 okay 101 this should uh, center around kl and then okay and then camera update uh, factory you erase you put a new let long zoom right and then you put your center location and then the zoom factor zoom factor you select it and then press play oops i forgot to close All right and then replay and then click open map and then it should center over here and then here is our marker we try to zoom it okay cawangan alo star open during mco all right okay what missing so what missing here is you cannot create multiple marker so how to create multiple marker so yang ada banyak-banyak marker tu kan hmm. macam mana nak create multiple marker so creating multiple marker is also easy what you need to do is create a vector of marker or array of marker so that you can fit the all the marker inside the map over here so you basically you are going to do something like this so add marker and then and then multiple add marker okay like this multiple add marker but we are trying to use it elegantly like using a loop so let's do that so let's try to do uh, to add multiple marker around here inside the map the first thing that we need to do is uh, we want to use vector you can use uh, either array list or vector you can also use vector so let's try to use vector okay there are other differences vector are much more slower array list is much more faster but sometimes habit i like to use vector Okay, let's uh, use something like this vector of marker option. I don't know if uh, your Java class cover this, uh, the use of vectors and also the use of uh, template, right? Marker options. Okay, so you have a vector of marker option new vector. Okay, just concentrate like this. Oh, new vector. Okay, so what we need uh, to do here is just to use marker option dot add. Okay, dot add like this, and then just delete the marker. Okay, you just use new marker option. Okay, just like this. Okay. Okay, you add it inside a vector. Oh. Uh, it always... Alright. Right, so you can become something like this. Marker options. So, and then you type here marker option dot add or, or you just copy and paste to add uh, many marker. One, two, three, four, five location. Okay, let add about five location. It just start. And then let's try to copy it from here, right? From here. Kawanga alu star and then
Okay, let's try this for a change. Okay, now, okay, now we need to add the marker. So here the marker. Right, okay, close this. Right, and then type here for, we need a loop. So for marker, uh, marker options. Okay, mark. And then take back the name over here, marker option. Okay, open up something like this and then put here mark. So we are looping over here. Okay, we are looping through each of the marker. And then add it inside the map. Okay, mark. Okay, over here as mark, mark and mark. And then press play. So when you click play, click play, you can see something like this. Okay, all the marker are listed. And then you can also control the zoom. So this is an overview of the application. You create a marker and then you create vector. Vector is just similar to array except that it is much more flexible. So if you use that vector, it's much more flexible. You can add uh, more items inside your vector. Okay, you can add more and then you can uh, reiterate. Okay, iterate the vector using loop okay, inside this loop marker option and each of the marker as mark and then you just add the marker and then just display it on top of your map okay what left now is to add a button over here to detect user's location so you realize that uh, okay using this map you cannot detect the user location this is because we haven't um, at a uh, user location uh, request so this has already been uh, the permission have already been uh, requested inside the android manifest if you click at the android manifest over here so what left is that we need the, the code in order to enable um, enable the user location so in order to do that, we have to refer to the map, right? The map uh, documentation. We have to refer to the map documentation. In order to do that, we have to refer to the map documentation. Okay. Refer to interacting with a map. And then click on location data. Okay, this one we have already stated. Okay, already included inside the manifest. So now we have to request the runtime uh, permission. Okay, and write six marshmallow. Okay, in order to do that, you look at the map ready over here. Okay, and then enable my location uh, method. Okay, enable my location method. So we just copy and paste this inside your own code. Okay, paste the method over here. So import everything that are relevant. Okay, map over here become M map. So we just type in M. Just add another M over here and this should be okay. So permission util, we do not use permission util. Instead, we have application compact. Okay, application compact. And then you just have to delete everything. Okay, just leave it over here. Okay, what left to do is to declare the permission. So the permission that we need to ask, we type here perms. Okay, string perms. Right, Android dot permission dot access uh, find location. 
Okay, sorry, put here as an array. Okay, you expect an array. And then for another, okay, for another, we just put here perms, former, request code 200. Okay, you just request. Okay, sorry, this is not app compact, but activity compact. Okay, activity compact. Okay, then this should work. Okay, for the time being, you have to delete, uh, uninstall this uh, map first, this application. Okay, don't forget to uninstall and then rerun it back. When you rerun it back, you can open up the map, click here, and it didn't happen. Okay, something wrong, it didn't happen. Okay. So I forgot to recall back the enable lo uh, my location. So this is uh, enable my location. You just go over. Okay, what you need to do is just go over here on map ready. Okay, on map ready over here, just type enable my location. Sorry. And then press play. And then it should work. Alright, and then allow while using the app. You just click here. And then exit again and then press map. Okay, this button will appear. And then it can detect where you are. Okay, your current location. Which you can exactly alter in this emulator by clicking. Uh, clicking on set location. So when you click here, you can detect your location. And then your application can automatically... Okay, your application can automatically detect where you are currently, right? Like this one. Okay, when you go over here, so you will be automatically transported to the uh, set location. Alright, uh, that's all for today's lab session for Google Map. So I've already teach you how to create multiple, um, multiple marker using uh, Google Map okay, and how to incorporate Google Map inside your own application. So for the next activity, I will show you how to interact with this, okay, with the info window. So when you click the info window, the application will do something. It will do something. And then I will also teach you on how to download the location from the internet or uh, in how to integrate your mobile application with your MySQL database. So that your mobile application can detect other people location and then map them inside the database. So that's all for today. So be seeing you on the next lab.